Welcome again to Deerfield Hall. Notice the dandelions are ready to go crazy and fluff. Seed the air with their beauty. And in a week, we'll have a yellow lawn again. I told you I'd show you the little spots of Deerfield Hall. Well, here are the low level buttercups and a lawn mowed only a week ago little purple flowers sneaking in as well oh if only only I could transmit the smell of a lilac over the camera white lilacs have a spectacular scent Purple lilacs, just a little more subtle, but every bit as delicious. If we could put it in a bottle, we'd all smell wonderful. Secretive and delightful helibor, hiding under other leaves of other plants, but coming out so early in the spring and lasting to midsummer. one of many hostas and of course the wonderful violet prehistoric ferns starting just an inch above ground soon to grow to three to four feet and hide a bit of the deer that is deerfield hall Snow and summer just starting to make its presence known. And here we are with more hosta fern snow and summer. As I pull back from this garden, you'll see elephant ear hosta. Simple green hosta. And then the most beautiful Big leaf hosta, dark and rich. They're beautiful as leaves, but soon will come the flowers. Just barely beginning, lilies of the valley, but soon they'll take over everything. Even the violets will be dwarfed by the population of lilies of the valley. A wee bloom of lilac. Uh, but let's throw a bit of splashing color in. A dahlia planted in a pot. This delicious flower will bloom all spring and most of summer. Angels visit our mossy steps here at Deerfield Hall. The angel winged begonia, the prettiest of them all. These stone steps have been here since the 1800s, covered with moss and delightful angel winged begonia. <laughs> 